Meghan Markle has been accused of a deeply problematic PR stunt at Prince Philip's funeral by a royal expert. The Duchess of Sussex did not attend the late Duke of Edinburgh's funeral last April because she was pregnant with daughter Lilibet. Meghan's husband Prince Harry attended the service and laid a colorful wreath on behalf of the couple in honor of his grandfather. According to Daniela Alzer, the former actress used the platform to hit the headlines, as details of other wreaths laid by the royals remained private. She said, What is bewildering here is why and how, on a day which should have been resolutely, solely focused on celebrating the Duke, that still something Sussex-related has managed to end up in the headlines. While Buckingham Palace has released a cavalcade of specifics about last year's proceedings, everything from precise timings to where exactly Philip's ballets would be standing, no particulars about the other eight wreaths that were placed in the chapel have been released. She added, The appearance here is that even at this moment of mourning someone Sussex adjacent has seen the wreath and Meghan's note as an opportunity to drum up some good PR, hardly edifying stuff. The commentator also claimed Meghan used the opportunity to help promote florist Willow Crossley, who designed the handmade wreath and was in charge of the flowers for the Sussexes' wedding reception and son Archie's 2019 christening. She wrote, But why did anyone feel the need to share this information with the world? The unavoidable conclusion here is that the details of the Crossley-created salute are known today, and making headlines, because someone wanted them out there. Elser suggested that the Duke and Duchess of Sussex's supposedly waning popularity among Brits was a potential reason behind the leak. She explained, In recent months both Harry and Meghan's approval ratings in the UK have cratered to record lows, with both the Duke and Duchess hitting negative figures, according to a poll done in the wake of their explosive Oprah Winfrey TV interview last month. Perhaps it was too much to expect that this weekend's proceedings could have gone off without something Harry and Meghan related in the mix. Members of the royal family will gather for a service of thanksgiving for the late Duke of Edinburgh, on March 29th. The service, which will honor the life of the Queen's beloved late husband, Prince Philip, will be held at Westminster Abbey. The Queen is widely expected to attend the service of thanksgiving taking place next week to honor the life of her beloved late husband. At the service, taking place at Westminster Abbey, she will surely be joined by several members of her family. However, it has been confirmed that the Sussexes, who quit royal duties two years ago and live in California now, won't be among the guests. Earlier this month, a spokesperson for the Duke of Sussex, 37, said he will not attend the memorial service for his late grandfather in London. A reason was not given for his planned absence, but his spokesperson added that he hopes to visit the Queen soon. Royal commentator Richard Fitzwilliams commented on the reported attendance of the Duke of York who has recently reached a settlement in his civil case. Also reacting to the news Harry and Meghan were missing the opportunity to pay tribute to the late Duke of Edinburgh, Mr. Fitzwilliams blasted their absence as simply extraordinary. He told, the service to be held in Westminster Abbey to honor Prince Philip will be an appropriate way of paying tribute to a truly remarkable individual, whose superhuman energy and considerable talents were devoted to supporting the Queen and the institution of monarchy. He later added, Prince Andrew will reportedly attend the service as it celebrates the life of his father. The absence of the Sussexes is simply extraordinary. The occasion would be his first public outing for the Duke of York since settling his sex assault case. The Duke of York is determined to honor his father by being among those at the Abbey Pennsylvania media reported, despite the scrutiny he is likely to face. In attendance will also be the Duke of Edinburgh's friends, colleagues and representatives of organizations he supported. Members of other European royal families including the sovereign of Sweden King Carl XVI Gustav and his wife Queen Sylvia, and King Felipe and Queen Letizia of Spain will travel to London to attend the service. The Queen's grandchildren Princess Beatrice, Princess Eugenie, and Sarah Tyndall, who are not working royals, and their spouses will also likely be in attendance.